Hello my little champions, I welcome you all to this new class of your mathematics subjects. Now today we are going to introduce with our new lesson that is Roman numerals. Now last year also I think you might have introduced this concept of Roman numerals. Now what do you think, what it is the name as Roman numerals? Of course, because it is invented in Rome and almost 2000 years back they invented this kind of system so as to count the numbers or digits and still now we are using these roman numerals so let us first revise that what you learned last year about roman numerals now let us see what are roman numerals now with the help of 10 digits we can write numerals for any number and these numbers are called hindu arabic numerals now, which of the 10 digits with the help of which we can form number uh, or more than thousands or infinite numbers or numerals? So, which are the 10 digits? These digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 9. So, these are the 10 digits with the help of which we can form any number. Okay. Now, for Roman numerals, there are only seven symbols so which are the symbols let us see in this chart they have mentioned see this i represents the number one this v for five this x for ten l for fifty c for hundred d for five hundred and m for thousand so these are the seven symbols using which you can form the different numbers with the help of or the Roman numerals. Now, in this chart, one more chart they have shown. See, the first 10 Roman numerals are, see, this I that is for 1, this 2 times I for 2, 3 times I for 3, then IV for 4, V for 5, VI for 6, V double I for 7, V triple I for 8, then IX for 9, and x for 10. So these are the first 10 Roman numerals. Now there are some rules so as to form the different numbers or numerals in Roman system. So let us see what are the rules. Now rules for writing Roman numerals. First rule. When certain Roman symbols are repeated in succession, the value of the numeral is obtained by adding the value of the symbol by the number of times it is repeated means what for example 2 times i now just now the chart i have shown you in the chart this i this one i that is for the number one so the again what they mentioned when certain roman symbols are repeated in succession so 2 times i they mentioned the value of the numeral is obtained by adding the value of the symbol so this one i that is for the numeral one and addition so, one more time I am going to mention the same numeral that is 1. So, these 2 times i that is for the digit 2. Again, 3 times i. So, in succession, when the same symbol they repeated, so the digit we are going to add that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3. Now, x. x represents the digit 10. 2 times x that is 10 plus 10 that is 20. Similarly, 3 times x means 3 times the same digit we are going to add as it is in succession. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 30. But note, no symbol can be repeated more than 3 times. That means the number 4 we can mention as 4 times i. Similarly, the number 40 we can't mention as 4 times x. Okay, so these are some rules for representing by representing the Roman numerals. Also, the symbols C, V, then L and D, they are never repeated. As X we can repeat, the I symbol we can repeat, but we can't repeat the symbols such as V, L and D. While these symbols C, the same dimension here, the symbol I, X and C, it can be repeated. So, that is the first rule while writing the no Roman numerals. In our next video, we are going to continue with the
few more rules so as to continue or so as to represent the roman numerals thank you okay.